Hello and welcome to Kemsis MediQ tutorial. In this one we'll have a look at uh, colors and the color window basically. Just a quickly. So we got the palettes, the first six up here, uh, RGB, W, uh, and colors. And if you got a color wheel, that information is useful on this side as well as some FX. Well, they might be on page two, I don't know. So you can either change color by pressing palettes or by going to the color mixer and you you'll the standard one is you know a color box which you can kind of slide and pick your color you got some pre-programmed colors for pressing color type you get you know Lee, Roscoe and Apollo colors as well you also got an extended box color box with less saturated colors if you Press color mode, you can change the colors to RGB, CMI, uh, or HSI, uh, depending on how you want to mix the colors. So, I'm going to choose normal. Um, the reason that is, is the really cool color picker. Uh, so, we got a wheel which you can select your color from. We've also got faders, RGB, CMI, and HSI. And what's cool about that is you see you can see what color you get by moving the fader. So if I want this orange color, I just move this fader towards that color. You can see we now got that color. And you got gel colors, which is the Lee type uh, at the moment. You can Roscoe and Apple as well. You got your own palettes on palettes. So um, over here you got you can. We got fanning, so that is really cool. So, uh, you you can actually fan colors between different heads. So, I'm gonna move the start color to green. I'm gonna gonna take the end to say red. So, you can see right now they are reacting to just the head. So, we got green over here, move to some orange amber color, and then towards red. They are on. The linear settings, which means they will go to one color to the other. If you press once, uh, you will go to the symmetric uh, setting, which means it will go to one color to the other and then back. So green, the starting color to the end color to the starting color. Uh, yes. Um, so this is multi-element type head, and if I press once more, I get. I go to the element head, element settings, which means that it will just spread out on the elements, not the heads. So if I move this, you can see that it's spreading, it's, it's fanning the colors uh, on only on the pixels, not the heads. If I press once more, it will use both, so both the pixels and the heads. So basically, each pixel over all heads. And we also got something called relative. So it's a bit tricky to understand, but choose a color, say a green color. Uh, or not really tricky, but here's how it works. Uh, so basically, you got a color and you want a bit more red, you just move the red fader up, you know, to the more reddish setting. <laughs> you want more red, a bit less blue, you know, less green perhaps, more blue. And that's how you basically mix with the relative. I don't really use that. Uh, I think the the settings are much easier and quicker to use. So, and I'm going to show you how to record uh, record a color from an an FX. And um, I, if you have recorded groups with just you know. Apparently, it doesn't really save the colors if you, you know, include the elements on the duplicated elements. So it will just use, uh, it will just fan the colors on the heads, even though you have selected include elements in the FX, uh, so to speak. So we can try this anyways. So choose your heads and create a color chase. And so I'm gonna duplicate the elements. So it's just going to use the the heads as a whole, not pixels. So 
Uh, I'm going to record that to a playback. I'm um, going to clear that. I'm going to triple click and go into the settings. I'm going to set the fader releases stack to no. Uh, controls HTTP channels to no because I don't want the intensity to go down when I uh, put the speed to zero. So I'm going to take fader controls FX speed to yes. Now this is another way uh, when I did this with the positions, if you have watched that video, uh, I did it with a master, but you can also do it with just, you know, this, just one playback. You can do whatever. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to bring this down when I think I found something cool. So, I mean, it's okay enough, just to show. Um, I'm going to clear the programmer, choose the heads I used, and then I'm just going to hold down shift uh, when selecting the group window and press active. So what that is doing, it is taking in the current LTP values um, into the programmer. I'm going to record that to a pl uh, palette, uh, type mix, uh, if I want to you know, put one of these colors in here, I hold down shift, set and perhaps I don't know it's a mix so <laughs> uh, but um so yeah that's that we're gonna clear and we're gonna release this playback and then you can see that when I select that palette you get kind of get that color scene uh, or the, the kind of the look that we have uh, when we play the effects and that is a quick way to kind of you know do a cool call mix on a big rig uh, pretty quickly uh, so yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching